In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use PowerShell to determine what user had, has uh, access a specific document. So you want to look at the audit logs for a given document in SharePoint. So what we're going to do here, I'm in the Windows PowerShell IC editor. I have, I have my script already written. We're just only going to quickly go over the uh, various sections in there. So the first thing we do, as always, we add the PS snapping for Microsoft SharePoint PowerShell. This is going to give us access to all of the SharePoint specific commonlets. Next, we're going to prompt the user to enter three parameters. First off, the URL of the web that contains the document, the name of the library that contains the document we want to look at the audit logs for, and the URL of the document itself. Next, we're going to call the get SP web um, comlet get a reference to the web based on the web URL. We're going to go and get the associated list based on the user input. So we're going to access the list property of the web object we just got, passing it the uh, name of the library in between square brackets to access it directly in the array of SP list that we got from this property here. Then we're going to call the web.getFile method and we're going to pass the URL of the document itself. And this is going to return us a reference to an SP file object representing the document. And then, of course, we're going to dispose of our web object. What we're going to do next is we're going to take a ref the reference to the document library we just obtained and call the audit property. This is going to return a uh, list of SP audit entry. We're going to go and get all the entries from that uh, audit list here, and we're going to loop through all of them. And we're going to make sure we only select the ones that are unique, right? Because sometimes you'll have uh, the same entry more than once. Next, we're going to go, we're going to get a reference to the current entry. We're going to get the user ID. And an entry, basically what an entry is, is every time somebody reads the document, edits the document, checks out the document, or check it in, it's going to have an entry in there. It's going to contain a bunch of information, but really what we're interested in is figuring out who did modification or who consulted the document. Um, so we're getting the user ID, and we also want to figure out what they did to it. Did they just read it? Did they modify it? Did they check it in, check it out? So we're going to do, uh, we're going to obtain this information by using the entry dot event here. So what we're doing is we're actually, instead of just getting the user ID, because this is going to give us a, uh, a numerical value, we're going to go get the reference to the all users property of the webs, and we're going to query it to figure out where the ID is equal to that user ID here. And then we're going to get the user login um, out of this SP user entry we're going to get from there. So if we were to run this now, it's going to ask me for the URL of my site collection or of my web, so HTTP low closed. My document itself, the one I want to get uh, information for is called test audit and it's located in documents library. So I'm going to copy the URL for this document, go back to my script. The name of the library is documents. I'm going to paste this here, the URL of the document, and then it's going to go in and it's going to produce me this nice report saying Contoso user John Smith viewed the document at 7.18.32, 7.18.40 and 43. Um, assuming that John Smith shouldn't have access to that document library or he was granted access but we know we should not have read the document, this is already a, a flag saying that this guy accessed something he wasn't supposed to and we can just go and do a follow up with the user directly. So hopefully you guys learn a bit more about how you can use PowerShell to automate uh, the actual retrieval of audit information about documents. You can do pretty much the same thing for list entries, uh, although you cannot really check in, check out list entries, but you can see who consulted and who modified list entries. Until next time.